Hello, thank you for joining me once again on Obesip Academy. On today's video, we shall be looking at how to calculate the range of Likert scale data. Essentially, how to calculate the range of Likert scale data. So, supposing we have this kind of questionnaire here, which oftentimes researchers normally find it difficult to get the range of their Likert scale responses for a questionnaire that looks like this. In our own case, here we are looking at the impact of entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial orientation on SME's growth. In this case here, our SME's growth is a dependent variable. Why the two independent variables of interest are innovativeness and risk taking, which is INV for innovativeness, RT for risk taking, and the responses captured are in five point Likert scale: one for strongly disagree, two for disagree, three for undecided, four for agree, and five for strongly agree, as you can see here. All right. So essentially, most researchers find it difficult to get the appropriate range of scale for each of these particular responses here because this questionnaire has to be distributed to a couple of respondents so we should be showing how to do that in this particular video so let's go back to our powerpoint all right so remember we have a five point liquor scale as captured here one for strongly disagree down to five for strongly um agree as as you can see here so the range here to calculate the range here, the first thing you need to do is to subtract the lowest liquor scale response or could from the highest in our case here the highest is five which is strongly agree and the lowest is one which is strongly disagree so five minus one will give you four the next step is to go to division now you have to divide the range or value obtained from this particular range here all right this is in the step one here to the given number of liquor skills which is five remember our highest number of liquor skill here is five that's why looking at five point liquor skill so what you need to do is to divide this 4 by 5. As you can see, 4 divided by 5 will have a value of 0 0.8. All right. So the next step, which is step 3, is to start calculating the range for each of those Likert scale responses. For uh, Likert scale 1, which is strongly um, disagree, the next thing you need to do is to get the lowest Likert scale rank or response which is one and add 0 0.8 to it remember this particular 0 0.8 was obtained from here this is our second step here all right so you add this 0 0.8 to it which is one plus 0 0.8 it will give you 1.8 thus we have the range for strongly disagree to range between 1.0 to 1.8 okay whatever value that falls between 1.0 to 1.8 will be captured as strongly disagree the step four is to calculate for Likert's, re Likert's um, response two, which is um, disagree in their case here. All right. So you add 0 0.8 to the 1.8 obtained from step three here. All right. In this case, 0 0.8 plus 1.8 will give you 2.6. So thus, the range for Likert scale for disagree will, will lie between 1.81 to 2.6. We do same for Likert scale three, which is undecided for step five as captured here neatly. If I'm actually too fast, you can pause the video and watch it again, please. All right. So to get the next one, we'll add 0 0.8 to 2.6, which is obtained here. In this case, we'll have 3.4. All right. So the, the range for undecided is going to be 2.61 to 3.4. Then, then step six is Likert scale four, which is um, agree. In our case, here, we add 0 0.8 to 3.4 obtained from this undecided response here as you can see here all right so when you add it 0 0.8 plus 3.4 will give you 4.2 those will have the range for agree to lie between 3.41 to 4.2 then lastly for Likaske response 5 which is strongly agree in our own case it has 0 0.8 again to 4.2 which is obtained here will give us 5 so that means our range for strongly agree will lie between 4.21 to five so whatever value that lie between 4.21 to 5 will be captured as strongly agree so in summary we'll have it captured here strongly disagree will lie between 1.0 to 1.8 which is one because scale one for one for disagree 1.81 to 2.60 liquor scale two whatever value that lie between 2.61 to 3.40 will be captured as three which is undecided Whatever value that lie between 3.41 to 4.20 will be captured as 4, which is agree. And whatever value that lie between 4.21 and 5 will be captured as 5, which is strongly ag um, agree, as you can see in our case here. All right. Okay. And um, of course, this particular 
reference for this particular um, explanations given were captured here. All right, this is the references for it. So I'm going to show you in Excel how to do that. All right, right away. So let's go to our Excel file. So in our Excel file here, we have this particular questionnaire was distributed to 10 respondents. I decided to make it 10 so that the video will not be unnecessarily too lengthy. Okay, so we are assuming that we give it to turn to 10 uh, respondents. 10 respondents. The um, each of the uh, items captured they are strong. I mean, um, uh, SMEs group one, SMEs group two, three, four, five. Remember, in our questionnaire, we have it captured here, which is SG one, SG two, SG three, SG four, SG five. So going back to our Excel here, as you can see, we captured it here again. All right. So this particular respondent, the respondent number one here, choose two, which is um, disagree in our case. Then for question two, still under SG two here, we chose four, which is agree, right? Five, which is strongly agree, as the case may be, going down to this part. So now, how do we get the Likert scale value for this? So what you need to do is to add all these responses for this particular respondent and divide it by five. All right, that's exactly what we did here. As you can see here, we added all these one, two, three, four, five. That's two plus four plus five plus two plus five divided by five, which is five Lika scale points. We have 3.6, which is the average value. Now, this average value lies between, uh, remember for 3.6, the rank here is four. How do we know that it is four for this particular value here? You go back to the power point again. As you can see here, we say that Whatever value that lies between 3.41 to 4.2 be captured as 4, which is agree. In our case here, the value we have here is 3.6. So 3.6 lies between 3.41 to 4.20. And that is why we captured it as 4 in our case here. Now, if you look at this for the second respondent, the average value here is 2.6. And we we'll chose a rank of 2. And 2 simply stands for disagree now let us go back again disagree lie between 1.81 to 2.6 so in our case here two the value two obtained or the mean value to obtain lie between this particular range here and that's why we chose two and that is again why two is captured here so going down as you can see again for uh respondent five in our case 1.41 we chose a rank of one because the range fall within one let us go again 1.0 to 1.81 so their particular response is strongly disagree which is one that was why we captured one here so this is the rank for all the average of these responses for this particular variable here and that's what is captured there all right same goes down 4.4 for uh, respondents 8 4.4 under strongly false under strongly agree if you go back you check 4.4 falls between this range here 4.21 to 5 and that's the result I'll capture it as five, which is strongly agree. All right, that is how we also did for for innovativeness. Look at the value here. Remember, we added clicking this point to show you this part here. We have added all this and find and found the mean. Then the mean value is two point four. We now check where it falls within the Likert scale range. In our case here, two going down. The same for also risk taking captured here. Once I keep my cursor here going down. We realize that we added all this and divided by five to get the mean value and this is the rank captured here neatly all right so after done haven't done all of this the next thing you need to do is to copy this and move it to your spss for your analysis okay this is a rank of sg which is a sme's growth look at our spss um page here clicking under these values here we we'll have the likaske responses captured okay the value and the label look at them here same also for innovativeness and the rest now going to data view you paste the value you copied all right for innovativeness you copy the rank also that's for innovativeness then you also paste then for risk taking which is the rank you copy and do what and you also do what you paste for you to be sure that these are the liquor skill um codes given you can turn on this button here clicking on this to turn on the button to show you neatly if anything is hiding you can expand this to see it neatly 
can also expand this to see it neatly so as you can see here this is the liquor scale point given all right you can click this button to turn it off so from here you can perform any other analysis you should wish to especially if you're running ordinary logistic regression remember for other logistic regression the dependent variable must be ranked okay the dependent variable has to be ranked i've made a video on how to conduct ordinary logistic regression you can scroll down look at ordinary logistic regression using the scale on my previous videos you can pause this video and watch it later on i'm also going to make a video on how to use this particular data for and running ordinary logistic regression again i'll make another video to show you but again i've made some videos around ordinary logistic regression you can watch it as a guide so essentially this is how to estimate a liquor scale data range especially when you have this kind of questionnaire here that is that is being given to several respondents and remember you have to summarize it in excel neatly here based on their choices of responses find the mean get the rank of the mean from this particular uh, liquor scale range here then from there you can now go ahead to perform any other analysis you so wish to all right thank you so much for watching